Okay, I'm good. This is a really quick tutorial of um, an introduction to the Jamulus software. So I'm in Zoom right now and I'm going to share screen, go to my desktop, and this is the software right here. If I close it, I go to Jamulus, I open it, that's what it looks like. Okay, so there we go. This is that is the Jamulus software. So what we see here is um, there's this a big blank area here, and this is where the individuals show up. So I'm going to connect to a server. This is a list of all the servers. So I'm going to do that again. If you click on connect, boom, all these lists of servers comes up. And here they are, and you can see they're organized by ping time. So I'm just going to, there's nobody in this room. I'm going to go into this music room. And now I see myself show up here in the server called Music Room. And this is a playback fader. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear myself. And if I mute it, one, two, one, two. Yes, now I can no longer hear myself through the system. I don't think you can hear that in the Zoom. Anyway, and if I click here, I see some settings. So in this particular server called Music Room, my latency overall delay is 69. And you see when it clicks, it's 70, it goes red. So you want to try to find sessions or create sessions where your latency is less than 70. Uh, I found that if I just keep this where it is, pretty much leave this on auto, I'm good. This is where how you would talk to an interface or something like that. I could probably make it talk to Zoom, but I'm going to just keep it really simple right now. And there you go. So that's basically how you get going. Now, if I wanted to create my own server, I open us the gym of the server software. And I actually typed in my name here. <coughs> Excuse me. And so now, now that I open this Jamie the server software, if I go to connect, you see that I have my own server. And so I can say connect, agree to the terms, and now I'm on the server Scott R. And now you see my latency is much lower, 25 milliseconds. And if there's somebody close to me at a low milliseconds, that would work uh, quite well. Okay, that's a good beginning of how the software works. So I want to learn how I can talk to my, my school about making a server that I can access and others can access and see if that works better than me make my own server. That's it for now.